Hi friends, good morning, this is Abhishek from TechWires and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can easily increase the performance of your laptop by just upgrading your hard disk drive to solid state drive that's HDD to SSD. So now you have to simply follow these six steps. First one, you need to check like how what is the current configuration of your hard drive. Then you have to see like if you have to shrink your hard drive if you are getting a smaller size of SSD then you have to clone the hard drive or the operating system to SSD then how to open the laptop then how to replace the hard disk with new SSD and then last one is to boot the new SSD alright so I will tell everything step by step so let's start with the first thing that is what all things you need to do the upgrade so first one you need a cable which is SATA to USB converter and this is from PI box and I will be providing all the links like what all tools or equipment you need to upgrade in the video description the second one is the tool to open the laptop opening the laptop is also a very important part in this video and then the last one is the SSD so here I'm using Samsung SSD which is of 250 GB you can definitely go for higher GB's like 500 or 1 TB so you don't have to like stick with 250 GB depends upon how much is your budget you can go for any kind of SSD so in this video I'll be using Evo 850 and the capacity is 250 GB and the laptop I'll be using is HP X360 that's touch laptop from Hewlett Packard now before we proceed let me show you like how much time does it take now to boot the laptop with normal hard drive so here you can see that I have started the stopwatch and it's taking approximately uh, it's now 10 seconds and it's going up to like uh, 15 seconds to boot not yet come up so 17 seconds and still it is booting up yeah so in 20 seconds it comes to the main page but still after logging in there are lots of things which is like slow and it takes a minute or one and a half minute to start the laptop properly so here you can see the configuration of this laptop is i3 uh, core i3 processor 2.4 gigahertz and it has 4 GB of RAM and it has got Windows 10 operating system so now the first step that is like checking your current hard drive the first step is to check like what is the configuration of your current hard drive so here you can see that my hard drive is like 1 TB and it has multiple partition so basically I need to check like what is the space of C drive C drive here you can see it's 442 GB which is quite larger than the hard drive which I'm going to change that is the SSD the SSD I'm using is of 250 GB so I need to shrink the C drive so that it is less than the new SSD which I need to replace so in case like you are using a SSD which is of same size or the higher size then you don't have to shrink you have to skip this process if not then you have to just right click on C drive and click on shrink and click next and then you can see the size is shrinked and unallocated space is created so before shrinking you need to delete all unwanted files on the C drive and then shrink it so that you can see the C drive reduces to 76 GB in this case alright so now the next step is you need to clone the hard drive so cloning the hard drive is very easy you need to connect the SSD using this SATA to USB converter so basically you need to plug the one side of this cable that is the SATA port cable into this SSD and the other side of the USB into your laptop and once it is connected you can easily see in your my computer that SSD has been detected so here you can see that E drive Samsung SSD has been detected and here you can check that yes your SSD is working fine alright so next step is to download the Maricom software so this one Maricom reflect 7 is a free tool which you can easily download from internet and then this tool will help you to clone everything on your laptop like whatever application you have installed what OS you have the licenses of the OS or the files what you have stored on the C drive you need to clone everything so that once you replace the hard drive you don't see any difference on your laptop you can just see the laptop is as good as it was before but yes definitely the speed will be 
high now you just have to click next 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 and uh, then click and skip the uh, registration part or uh, skip the licensing part because we are using the free version of this software so once the software is completed or the download is completed it will ask for the installation step so just click on next and install the Maricom reflect 7 software which is free so once this software is installed you just have to open this la software and then you will see different hard drives on your laptop so this is very important part you need to see it carefully just make sure that you are able to see both SSD and hard drive if you are able to see both click on clone this disk and on top you will see this is the source and on the bottom it says destination so from source you need to select your existing hard drive and you have to select only those partition which is required in cloning that is your C drive and your recovery drive and other small like primary partitions ignore your uh, data drive or the unformatted uh, partition you just ignore that and select only which is required and see if you select those and then if you click on finish it should give a summary of like what you are exactly cloning just cross check and then click on finish so once you click on finish the formatting will start so just click OK and this might take like 20 to 30 minutes of time depending upon the size of your drive and once it is completed this will give like a message saying that the uh, clone or the copying is completed so here you can see that it took 19 minutes for me to complete this cloning part so once it is completed it says 100% successfully completed and if it gives any kind of warning don't worry there is no problem just click OK and then close this Maricom software so you are ready with the new SSD which is now cloned of your C drive so you can see the C drive it says 76.4 GB here also you see 76.4 GB and 14.7 GB is used so that's what like you can cross check yes your hard drive has been cloned to SSD and what you have to do go and check your disk management this is just an additional step to check like everything is same or not so you see disk 0 is my existing drive which is the hard drive and the disk 1 is the SSD so here you can see the first partition is 529 MB on both then second 100 MB on both and then C drive is equal to F drive that is 76.43 GB on both we don't have to worry about other partition at this point you can say that your SSD is ready and it's cloned and we are now ready to go to the next step that is opening the laptop alright so before opening the laptop make sure that you are grounded as well as you may have your static belts on and then turn off the laptop completely and then you have to turn the laptop backside so before opening let me show you the uh, model number of this laptop it's HP Pavilion 360 convertible it's 14BA075TX and uh, now uh, to open this laptop it's very easy initially you will feel that how to open because you don't see all the uh, points where to open so here I'll tell you like uh, there will be few of these screws which will be hidden behind the rubber bars so first you need to choose the right set of the screwdriver and let me try something similar which it looks so if I use this yeah it's not working so I need to change this so you need to uh, choose like what fits for your laptop so you choose the right screwdriver and then it will help you to open the screws so this might take some time to open all the screws because there will be lots of screws here and there and sometimes the screws will be hidden inside uh, the small rubber pads or sometime it will be some sticker so you need to check all the points where the screws can be so here you can see that I found one screw which is inside this rubber pad so I need to open this screw as well and uh, similarly it should be here also so I open this and here you can see that there is another screw and I remove the screw as well and just put the uh, rubber back because it has some kind of gum and if you keep it away then it might dry up now this is one uh, very like hidden point which I took like lots of time to find out so here also like we have one screw which is hidden inside 
and uh, I need to change the uh, point of the screwdriver to open this so I change it so here you can see that I have taken out the screw from here as well now we are done with removing all the screws from the back part and now we have to open this laptop so some laptops will open from back some laptop we have to lift the keyboard so if you see the edges there will be some small gap near the edges you have to use this chip and then you have to lift it up and initially you will feel that it's very tight but yes you need to slowly uh, drag this chip all around and then it will make some sound and it will give you a hint that yes we can open it from this side so for this particular laptop do as the same way what I'm doing just use this chip and keep moving all around it will help you to open the keyboard panel from the top so just keep uh, moving this chip all around slowly and steady so you have to do all around and then when you come to the edge you have to turn the lap laptop backside and from the backside also you need to lift some of the uh, like uh, the point where it has to be uh, moved up so again put the chip here and then push it little bit and it will help you to like uh, lift these slots up and then you can easily uh, remove the keyboard or the panel from the back side or the front side based upon the type of your laptop so in this laptop you can see easily I just did from all the side and it's very important you need to go slowly you have to go slowly it should not break anything do not put much force go slowly if you put force it might break something if it is stuck if something is stuck here it might break something so now you can see that now I am easily able to lift this keyboard and there will be some cables or the uh, wires which will be connected to the keyboard if you are removing the back panel again there will be some cable so we need to be very careful while opening this and we have to see like we have to remove all these cables which are connected to the keyboard or any of the panel so here I have removed this keyboard or the top panel I'll keep this aside and now you can see that our hard drive is on the right corner and it's very simple in this laptop to change the hard drive you just have to remove this small cable small chip kind of cable and uh, we take out this hard drive there is no screwdriver on the hard drive just take it out and we have to keep this rubber which is all around this uh, hard drive and uh, this hard drive you can use it in your uh, like laptop or you can get some case and make this as an external hard drive also is very easy just remove this particular uh, portion of your hard drive this is very important because this will go into your SSD the right side what I have just taken it out now here you can see this is the SSD which we made the clone of and now I'm putting that same slot and the chip inside and then I'm covering it with this rubber pad and now it will go into the slot it's very simple it's very simple it looks like it is difficult but it's very simple once you open the laptop it's quite simple just change it the chip and put this connection again back where it was you have to lift a small uh, like hinge and then put this cable inside sorry I was not able to video it properly but uh, yeah you will understand you will figure it out very easily it's very simple to connect this uh, cable of this SSD now again put the uh, keyboard in the similar way how we have removed it put the cables in the back and then place it so uh, I have just placed it and I have not locked the laptop again like I have not put the screwdrivers so I need to first check if laptop is booting properly if it is booting yes everything is good I can turn the laptop I can close the hinges and then put the screwdrivers that's fine laptop is booting up laptop has no issues you can see I am easily able to log into my system now 
this laptop is running on SSD and there are no issues and it's running very smoothly so let me go to disk management and show you like here you can see that we have C drive of 76 GB we have unallocated space just right click and format that and that you will get into uh, my computer so as of now you will see only C drive but once you format the unallocated space in disk management you will see all the drives they complete uh, 200 plus GB in your my computer now you can see the boot time here this is the comparison like initially we took approximately 20 seconds to boot now let's see how much time does it take to boot on SSD it's now 6 seconds 7 seconds 8 seconds 10 seconds 11 so it took 11 seconds so it means it took like half the time when it was on hard drive and with SSD it is giving like 100% of improvement in boot time also to tell you it's just not the boot time has improved but the performance of all the application either it is office application Excel Word PowerPoint or uh, Outlook or the web browser or video editing everything has improved after changing the hard drive that means upgrading to SSD so guys this was my complete video which each and every detail how you can easily upgrade to SSD I hope you liked it if you like please subscribe to my channel and give thumbs up to this video have a nice day bye bye